welcome to our channel once again today we are all out remembering the fact that we are still in that month when we continue to talk about autism the symptoms how to recognize it and how to deal with it a lot of our children get stigmatized not because of any other thing but because people around them do not understand them so talking about it will only encourage those around them to understand and treat them better so you see it's for their own good well for nutrition today we are diving into the fascinating topic that's gaining traction in the world of autism nutrition this topic is about the choline connection Let's see what choline is. Choline is a very vital nutrient that could hold the key to managing autism symptoms more effectively. Stick around as we explore its mechanisms and uncover the common sources of these essential nutrients. Let's see what choline is actually. Choline is an essential nutrient, like I said before, that is naturally present in some foods but it is only available as a, it can also be available as a dietary supplement. Choline is a source of methyl group. Methyl group, take note of that. And this methyl group is needed for many steps in metabolism. I spoke about methyl group because it is a very important topic when it comes to autism, but we will talk about that in another lecture. So the body needs choline to synthesize phosphatidylcholine and sphingomyelin. These two major phospholipids are vital for cell membranes. Therefore, all plants and animal cells need choline to, pre to preserve their structural integrity. You can imagine how important that is. So what exactly is the choline connection and how does it relate to autism? Well, research suggests that it is needed to produce acetylcholine, which is an important neurotransmitter for memory, mood, muscle control, and other brain and nervous system functions. If we go through these functions carefully, we will understand that all of them are applicable to children with autism. We have issues with memory, we have issues with control, we have issues with other nervous system functions. And choline also plays important roles in modulating gene expression. I need you to be taking note of these important points. It is also important for cell membrane signaling it is also important for lipid transport and metabolism. And then most importantly, it is needed for early brain development. In individuals with autism, there might be differences in how their brains process and utilize choline. We may have to talk about that some other time. And this difference could potentially contribute to certain symptoms that we commonly see with children on the autism spectrum. Therefore, in individuals with autism, it is very important to optimize choline intake because this could actually support healthy neurotransmitter balance. Yesterday, we spoke about two other neurotransmitters. In our uh, previous videos, we spoke about two other neurotransmitters that are important, which are actually produced in the guts. Today, we are talking about another one, which uh, is produced through the use of choline. These neurotransmitters potentially alleviate some of their symptoms. But now, let's talk about where you can find choline in your diet. Of course, I can't talk about any other thing that is not food. Luckily, you can find choline in a variety of foods and they can easily be incorporated in your daily meals. Eggs, for instance, are one of the richest sources of choline, with the yolk containing the highest concentration. So when you eat egg, the yolk is where you have most of the, the choline content of that egg. So starting your day with a delicious omelette can actually provide a significant choline boost for your body and your brain. 
Don't take my word for it, but I have come across many parents swearing by the fact that they continuously offer their children up to four eggs per day. And those children are much more improved in their autistic symptoms. Well, I have yet to exper experiment with it and I have yet to come across the research confirming this. But you know, the mothers know best, eh? Well, I might just consider this as my next uh, research topic. If you believe that I should do this, you can say that in the comments. Well, it is not just eggs before you begin to lament that your child is allergic to egg. It is not just eggs. Incorporating leafy greens like spinach and broccoli into your meals can also up your choline intake. So if you can't eat egg, don't worry, there are other sources. Additionally, you can also add meat like chicken and beef, as well as fish like salmon and cod. These are all excellent sources of these essential nutrients. As a nutritionist specializing in autism nutrition, I do advocate for dairy-free diets. But if for some reasons you are consuming dairy, it is good to know that dairy products like milk and yogurt also contain choline. And for those following a plant-based diet, options like soybean and quinoa can still be a very choline power packed food sources so don't fret if you cannot take egg if you cannot take dairy you can take green leafy vegetables and you can take these plants that we just mentioned these plants are actually referred to as superfoods so dear listeners there you have it the choline connection may offer a promising avenue for managing autism symptoms through nutrition. By incorporating choline-rich foods into your diet, you could potentially support better brain function and overall well-being. Remember, always consult with a healthcare professional or nutritionist to tailor your diet or your child's diet to their specific needs. In a last video we talked about their needs not just being their nutritional needs they may have allergy needs they may have other you know gastrointestinal concerns that tailored meal plants can help to address well if you need to find one you can look on our, on our description you will find a link to connect you to the right professionals who will just offer that nutritional intervention for you and your loved ones. Now, I must thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with anyone who might benefit from learning about the choline and this connection with autism. I know that a lot of parents will be interested. Until next time, I urge you to stay healthy and most importantly, be happy. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.